All right, guys. I just changed stuff up a little bit here. Restarting the stream. So I got to clean up my airbrush here for changing colors. So, and plus it was a little cluttered on the screen for you. So. Just cleaning out my airbrush right now. I hopefully my okay. Air compressor is probably going to kick on, and make some noise here. So. Okay. And also, I mean, I like running that second camera here, but um, just like it's bogging things down too much. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to change, um, change colors here and uh, see if we can't uh, uh, get some other colors on here because, like I said, dirt isn't all one color. So um, I got some uh, a little bit darker colors here and a little bit darker brown. <clears throat> that and uh, get something else here <clears throat> but, uh, yeah okay yeah so you're on the chat hey um, tell me hello I'd like to uh, see who's watching okay we need okay Go with this color here. Yeah, shake it up a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I hope. The thing is, I like my other camera here. A little bit of a close up. You can see what I'm doing, but uh, I'll turn that on later and show you guys. Uh, show you what I'm doing here. Okay. Put a little bit of this color. This is a really a little darker brown. Just, put just a touch in there. Gonna. Use a lot of this. I use the darker color. Just put a little bit darker. We need a little bit thinner. I like to thin my colors real quite a bit. I use this eyedropper, then I can kind of kind of got a then I can kind of be consistent about. <clears throat> about how much I uh, thin my paint so I can keep the flow pretty pretty consistent here. <clears throat> but uh, should be seeing a pretty decent stream here now. And like I said, I'm using the new that little better camera. All right. It's just oh uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. A lot darker brown there. So add some of that. There. Add that to the back. Yeah. Let's get those top caps. Take some of the shine off that chrome because because it's like you know things in real life really aren't that shiny. <clears throat> over some of the places we did before. Just to, just to get a little bit more dirt on this here. <clears throat> tanks look too they look too pretty and uh, I'll flip it up and over and I'll get do some of it on the bottom there right. 
fires going here. All right, yeah. Definitely, definitely that's more, <clears throat> more like it. Move around here. Oh. and dirt. Yeah. Now it looks like it's been been used. Yeah. A little bit on these taillights. You know what? Taillights on, on uh, semi-trucks like this don't, don't always look that great. You know, half the time they don't work, especially on a farm truck. Ours do, but, you know, they got to work. You wanna, wanna think about how how dirt gonna lay on something here. And I like to highlight that pumpkin right in there. I got some dirt and mud. And get that top of that. Top of that sleeper a little more. Yeah. Boy, I'm really liking that. I really like that guys. To overdo it. <clears throat> now I've already detailed the engine and things. Let's just look at the front end. take it too far so I'm thinking that's pretty good here so clean out the gun again I'm gonna change colors once more yeah I'm gonna do something real, real, real uh, slick kind of <clears throat> on the fuel tanks because when you fill them up you always spill a little bit of diesel or it runs over or just the vapor a little bit and then, and you know, it uh, collects dirt when you drive down a dirt road, and uh, you want to, I want to kind of simulate um, that on there. This is the, this is the part about uh, model building and weathering, and <clears throat> nobody likes it to clean up, clean in between. You know, cleaning brushes and, and things, and like I said, this is this truck's almost done. I'm just putting, like I said, the finishing touches to make it look, like I said, make it look a little more rip. Um, you know, I like, I, I actually, I'm not very good at making them look, you know, showroom perfect. I, I like doing these uh, weathered ones, and you know, I, I'm not a pro at this. I just kind of. <clears throat> kind of see what looks right to me and kind of run with it. Okay, I'm going to run through and 
clean my airbrush just once more here. And, uh, yeah. I'll have to do a full cleanup later, take it apart. But this is just a cheap uh, airbrush. That's the thing. You can do pretty good stuff with cheap, cheap stuff. Run a little thinner through it. <clears throat> Off to the side here that you can't see. I got a trash can that I that I just kind of run everything through. Okay. Yeah, good enough. A little bit of paint in there, mix it. Not for nothing. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna go just a touch darker. So I add, like I said, some more greasy looking dirt and you know you can mix black in here and stuff and I, <clears throat> and that's what I usually do uh, but these browns are really what I'm going for uh, hopefully you can kind of get an idea those pictures I have <clears throat> up on the screen give you an idea of well, what uh, type of effect I'm, uh, I'm going for Sure, I got all that. Oh, that's right. I need to promote thinner in this. Just <clears throat> my key is I run my paint like real thin. Uh, so it's just more air than paint. And what what paint uh, gets on there, the thinner flashes off real quick. I just want just teeny teensy bits of the pigment on there is all. And I, I might even after after I get done, I haven't decided. I might have might have to experiment with that. <clears throat> take just oh like some 1200 grit sandpaper and just go over it a little bit. Take down the sheen in places. I mean I am using flat paint here, but I did use a gloss for the color coat because that's what it is. But I need to tone it down, make just a little to simulate it's <clears throat> a little bit more worn out because the truck. Like I said, this is the pack, original factory color, or darn close to it, but, you know, it still looks kind of new versus uh, versus the pictures there. So, um, I'll just uh, put it on this <coughs> paper towel here again, and you can kind of see where we're, where we're headed here. Uh, I put way too much in here. I see we're even a little bit darker than... <clears throat> where we were. So, uh, stay back on the oil there. But I do want to, I do want to get a little bit in there, on, and I might have to do uh, that with a regular brush. Or maybe just add just a little bit of. I need a little bit of contact in there. Yeah. There we go. A little bit of contrast on the wheels. <clears throat> I may get in there and uh, run just like where the center caps on. Sometimes some grease from the uh, uh, bearing or the uh, bearing caps. I mean the dust caps. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, gets in there. And, um, you can, uh, kind of leaks, leaks by, and, and uh, you know, we kind of want to, we kind of want to see that. <clears throat> okay, actually, well, I'll put this on. I might have to run and grab just a little bit darker color, because, you know, I almost want to put... Yeah, we'll try this. Okay. You're not gonna see it on me. You're not gonna see it on the camera yet. Yeah, just... Wanna put a dark spot right there. Because I wanna make you look like grease. 
grease and dirt has been in there. Say somebody had a muddy shoe, you know, stepped right there. Yeah. <clears throat> I would like an that. Okay. And, okay. And as you might not be able to see this so great, right in here I'm going to put a dirt, I'm going to put a dark spot. Right from up here, because the filler cap's right there. Yeah. Right, dark, and we're going to get it lighter as we go down. And I'm pulling away because there. Okay. Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> I mean, that's good. But you know what? I need a little bit darker. I actually need to put a teensy bit of... Almost, I need to put a black or a black type of color on there. Or just really darken this up. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Alright. Get that out of the gun. Let's see, I don't... I gotta run and get some blocks, so stay with me. back here had to run out you know what I'm gonna do actually is I uh, use some greens uh, like almost an olive drab and then kind of a dark camo green that would look like dirt let's see I'll keep some of that some of that brown in the cup just put a little bit of hair in there I'll make a lot of real dirty color. Something that looks really, something that like looks really nasty. That's what I want. That's what I want to do. Something that looks really nasty. And you know, if I'm I'm looking off this direction, I'm, I'm looking at the camera, looking at the or screen, seeing if people are in watching, <clears throat> and also watching. Uh, make sure they running good on the computer. So, uh, I always hate when this happens. Uh, hey, you know, it sticks the lid on. I mean, the paint's fine, but oh yeah, it's a pukey color. It's gonna be perfect. For uh, and you know what? People they buy these smaller paints, and they're kind of expensive. And you know, I like them too because you know. You can buy small amounts, but you know, I'll use rattle cans instead of something like that. <clears throat> uh, get it out. That's actually a good color too that I want to use. 
Um, but let's see, we're gonna make a real pukey looking color. <coughs> I want it to really, I want it to really stand out, and uh, for the effect I'm going with. Okay, and of course you, is, I'm working with all acrylics here, but um, for this, because I'm not doing any washes or something. But <clears throat> you know, if I was putting a, I um, usually use enamels down on the base, and then when I do the washes, I do a collect acrylics. That's uh, then they don't kind of conflict, and the washes will just go over the enamel, not eat at it. Of course, depending on what you're doing, sometimes that those paint reactions can give you some neat effects. And if you experiment a little bit <coughs> with uh, with uh, how how they react together, you know you can get some really realistic effects. All right, I'm gonna spray out a little here. Oh, I think I like that. Do it on the <clears throat> paper towel for you guys to see here. Now it may be hard, but see it's a real greenish, greenish black almost. <clears throat> That's perfect. It's a perfect color. And I don't want to kill what I just put on there, so. I just wanna, just wanna focus, focus it. You know what? I might, might still put a little bit of black in there, just at the top, and, and that actually will create, create the shadow I want. Cause that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, there we go. Like it's really, really dripped or yeah, you know what? <coughs> I need to have a holder for this. Normally, one of the guys have a holder. Right. Gum that out. Okay. I'm gonna take one of these these cheap, cheaper brushes. Let's get a little bit of paint around. Okay. A little bit thinner and okay, yeah, I gotta make those lines. Oh, I love that. It's eating into the it's eating into the paint and making it run. And when it dry, it's gonna look like more natural grip. Oh yeah, look at that. You know what? <clears throat> Might even do some. Actually, okay. I'm just gonna decant some of this. Dirty, dirty color. It's, uh, yeah. 
That's all I need for that. <clears throat> Show you what's Better in there. Got a clip bar there. Now I don't wanna. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm just gonna break that up. Now. Yeah. That's just all about. All about just experimenting with this kind of stuff. For me, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of that. Just step up just a little. Let's get a little bit on there. Okay. Boy, really like that. I might. After that thinner dries, I just plop a little bit more on there just to tone it down. Gosh, I don't like that effect so much. I need to put that somewhere else. Come on. You know what? <clears throat> a little blobbiness on the e joint there. On there. Alright, yeah, I like that. That looks like if I just let me drop the black pad. There we go. Yeah, heck. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, those lug nuts just need a almost there. Love that. Just need a little highlight. You know, just a little something, something. <clears throat> Not much, but just just darken them up. Put highlights here and there. Cut that out. Alright. Boy. <clears throat> oh, it's gonna it's looking pretty good. Pretty darn good. I'm just gonna give a lot of a quick shot of this dirty color we have here. gave it some texture too by uh, <clears throat> kind of raising the paint up a little. Yeah, like that. I like it kind of greased the shift wheel, but it's yeah, there, that's a little, a little, a little bit of <clears throat> darkening there. Highlight right where the key can kind of go. Alright, let's uh, get the other side. Okay. Well, by golly, I know. Just a teensy bit. Yeah, that's intake. <clears throat> Alright. Well, boy, I could. I don't want to kill all my all my dark. So I almost call that. I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna have to clean my uh, buck up, but uh, 
I have to clean everything up, but uh, yeah, looks uh, <clears throat> looks really good. Um, I already did the engine so much, so yeah. The reason why I got this here is the epoxy on that one wheel is uh, still setting. I didn't use an instant one. I grabbed the wrong tube and it's like a 90 minute epoxy. So, <clears throat> Alright, I'm trying to decide do I need anything more? I don't know. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> Actually, I think let me uh, get you. Let me get you a close close-up shot here, and uh, well, just quickly out of that <coughs> in, so you can kind of get the close-up here. A little out of focus. All right. <coughs> yeah. Let's show you. Hey, what give you that close up here? A little bit of what we did here, and uh, and what the hell? Oh, okay, that's gonna be stuck to the tire. That nice? Oh no, I guess just all right. <clears throat> so, all right, let's do side by side. Hopefully that. Look at that tires set the way it needs to be. I guess it is. All right. Well, I got. Uh, I wanted to show what we we're working on here. Adding a little the grease here from where you for the filler neck, uh, and uh, you kind of see how we weathered where the dust would lay. Everything we got uh, some dirt in the bumper where the bump where the dirt would lay for the bumper. The uh, spin it around here, and of course I didn't. I did this. <clears throat> I did this well before, but uh, um, the uh, fifth wheel got uh, dirt, mud, and everything on that. But just, uh, and I can flip it over here. Um, pretty well weathered under here. Actually, I need to, you know, run my uh, airbrush over some of this, add a little bit extra stuff in there, and that wheel just doesn't want to. Well, anyway, I'm not quite done, but I'm done. <laughs> done for the most part. <clears throat> 